Hello, my name is Rimantas, I'm yoga teacher. Today we're going to talk about why it is important to control our mind. Simple answer to this question is because if we don't control our mind, it causes us suffering, all kind of suffering. And now I'll try to explain how does it work. Our mind can be in different states. And for example, one state is when we control our mind and when we can focus it to something. And another state is when we live our life by the flow. So what are the difference? When we control our mind, we can focus and point it to different tasks that can help us and other people in this life. When we live life by the flow, then to our mind always comes all kind of different wishes, desires, negative or positive emotions, wants, uh, addictions, and we always try to fulfill them. It means when we live life by the flow, um, all those impulses in our mind, thoughts, ideas, wants, wishes, uh, they try to stimulate, they try to take our energy and they try to make us realize them. How does it work? For example, one thought or one idea comes to our mind and usually we don't even think about it and when we get some kind of thought, we try to realize it to real life, right? For example, I just sit, do something and suddenly thought came that I want to eat some chocolate, right? Sometimes it happens. Um, and when it, then when, when this thought comes to me, uh, usually I don't even think about that and I just realize that, right? This is the way how usually we live. For example, I do some other things that uh, I just don't uh, have some time to spend it to chocolate and this thought just goes away. And this is the way how it works. Now, also we need to understand that uh, when thought comes to our mind and when we try to realize it in our real life, it always consumes our energy, our time and our resources. And those thoughts and those wishes, they can be a little bit, they can be very, very different, right? Because um, there can be a want to eat, wish to eat chocolate and there can be wish to, um, I don't know, buy a yacht. There can be a wish to travel around the world. There can be all kinds of different wishes. And we need to understand that uh, all ideas, all wants, all desires, all addictions, they always, always eat our energy. And the bigger idea, the bigger thought, the bigger want, the bigger desire, the more, idea, the more energy it will consume from our life. So um, all, those, uh, all those wants, wishes, desires, they cannot fully uh, satisfy us. And probably you already uh, see that. Um, for example, when uh, you have some want or desire and when you fulfill that, you see that it still does not give you 100 satisfaction. Maybe it gave you some kind of satisfaction for some time, right? Uh, it happens. For example, you have some kind of goal and you reach your goal, finally reach your goal and you thought that, yes, it will be, it will be my life goal, the most important goal. And when you come here, when you came, when, when you mm, realize that idea, when you realize that thought, you understand that no, something, yes, I have, I reached this, everything is 
very great, very amazing, but still there is some kind of feeling inside that it's not that thing. Yes, so uh, this is the reason why uh, actually a lot of uh, people in this life, why uh, they feel very, uh, you know, very uh, depressed because they think that material wishes, material desires, material uh, wants, they um, can fulfill them, but it doesn't happen. And I think from the experience, you can confirm that, right? You know, we, 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 both of us, we have this, uh, we have this experience. So you know that it, it really happens and uh, it's in some kind of, uh, it is a problem in, uh, in some point, in, in some um, point of life. So. Uh, usually our mind, mind is work like that, that when we get something, our mind always wants something new, something new, something new, something new, and uh, it does not give us full satisfaction when we try to fulfill all those wishes, wants, desires. Um, of course, there are um, wishes, wants, desires that really help to improve our life. But there is some kind of wishes uh, or desires that only uh, just consumes our energy, consumes our time, consumes our resources uh, and um, it doesn't give anything good to our life or to other people's life. So uh, in um, Hatha Yoga Pradipika, uh, it is very, a very great book for um, people who are practicing yoga. Um, in Hatha Yoga Pradipika, Swami Svatmarama um, wrote very interesting about how our mi mind works. Uh, he said that our mind is like a mind is like a monkey who uh, uh, who are jumping from tree to tree. It means that our mind is always jumps from idea to idea, from one to one, from wish, from one wish to wish. And if we try to, uh, if we try to fulfill one desire, uh, suddenly um, another comes. When we try to um, feel some kind of uh, good emotion, after some time, af after this good emotion, we feel like. I uh, know that there is something wrong because there is no this emotion and we always try to fulfill, 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 fulfill that. So if you will be able to control your mind, you will be able to control your time, your energy, your resources um, and you will be able to live your life much more effective and uh, you will be able to help much more people in this short period of life that we have. So it is very important. Now, how we can do it? How we can control our mind? Of course, there are a lot of different ways how we can do it. Uh, I will share with you some uh, tips from some methods from yoga and if you will be able to um, try some of those methods feel free to do it, do it because in a yoga it uh, makes very very good effect for people so first method if uh, you want to control your mind uh, we need to learn how to relax there a lot of different uh, ways how to do it in yoga. One of the best way, for example, when we do yoga asanas, after our asanas, we do shavasana. What means shavasana? Shavasana means that uh, we just lie on the floor and with closed eyes, we just relaxing and we're just focusing our attention 
um, to body and to relaxing all tension that's inside us. And after Shavasana, Shavasana usually takes uh, between 10 and 20 minutes. And after Shavasana, a uh, person like uh, restarting. Um, after Shavasana, we feel very relaxed. Our mind is, if it was active before yoga practice, it is much more uh, calm. It, it's much calmer. And this is the way how after that you can much better focus and control your mind. Another way how to do it is do Hatha Yoga Asanas. If you are able to do um, Hatha Yoga Asanas on a regular basis, just with yoga teacher, it will, um, it will uh, do very positive impact because uh, when we do yoga asanas, it has a lot of positive uh, effects, uh, both for our body, also for our energy. It means that when we do yoga asanas, we work with our physical body, with our um, inner uh, organs inside of us, and of course, we also work with our energy. What means energy? Uh, energy means that when we, for example, uh, you know, there are uh, states of mind. For example, when we feel that we are on the very, very positive high mood, we have a lot of energy, we have uh, a lot of great ideas. We have, we are very, very, um, you know, very, very, um, positive in like we were we we're very energetic we we're very joyful uh, we we're very calm from inside and so on and you know there are states when there is no energy no um, dullness comes uh, you know like uh, Thomas state of mind comes so uh, w when we do Hatha Yoga Asanas this dull state of mind it goes away and you can uh, see that um, actually after usually after your first yoga class because um, when you do different asanas different asanas uh, changes the way how your energy flows in your body and it is very very important because our mind and the way how our mind works it is very connected with the energy that is inside our body. So when we, you do regular practice and when you work with your physical body, when you work with your breathing, when you work, when you relax, uh, it makes very huge and positive impact to the way how your mind works. And the last method that I would like to share with you today is uh, if you want to control your mind, um, try to do mantra OM chanting. In our yoga school, our yoga teachers, they are uh, recommending to chant mantra OM because when we do mantra chanting, um, mantra, it helps to um, protect our mind from negative thoughts, from negative emotions, from negative ideas. And when we chant mantra, uh, mantra Om, uh, it makes, um, it changes the way how energy works in our body. You can uh, very uh, suddenly feel and see that when you chant mantra Om, you from inside, like um, you become much more energetic you become uh, much more fulfilled with inner, bright, um, strong and active um, energy that comes from your inside world. And it um, comes because you are repeating um, mantra. So this is the way how it works. And um, 
All, then uh, when you chant mantra, negative emotions are not able to um, be in your mind, in your thoughts, and then you feel much more better, you feel much more calmer, you feel much more um, with a better inside energy, and of course it helps you in your real life. So basically those are three simple methods if we want to control our mind. So first thing what we need to do is we need to relax. Uh, second thing that uh, we can do is uh, we can do Hatha Yoga asanas and third way what we can do uh, is to do Mantra Om chanting. If you have more questions feel free to write it in comment section. Um, well, this topic is very very interesting and very important for people who want to know yourself a little bit better. Thank you for watching, see you next time and have a great day. Bye-bye.